Let's now turn to local government election build-up and canvassing as ANC Deputy President David Mabuza is canvassing for his party in Sochanguva today. The Pretoria North Township is one of the largest constituencies for the ANC in Gauteng. Tuane Metro is governed by a minority government led by the Democratic Alliance. The ANC with internal divisions in the region is looking to cause an upset in the local government elections and reclaim the capital. Newsroom Africa's Belani Pahadi is in Sochanguva Block T. Uh, Belani, very good morning to you. The uh, deputy president of the ANC, David Mabuza, is out hoping to woo voters so that uh, the ANC can emerge victorious. What's happening on the ground? We're still waiting for the ANC Deputy President David Mabuza to arrive here at Hotel Alam Primary School. But I can tell you that quite a number of his constituencies have arrived here. They've went about a kilometer from where we are uh, to a local park where he will be addressing them after receiving a briefing here at this particular primary school, Hotel Alam Primary School here in the block at tier. Look, I think it is very much crucial to really um, 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 emphasize on the fact that the African National Congress in Atwane is not as divided, is not as uh, un united as, uh, as a party that is still w wishing to topple off a minority government that is currently leading the city of Tuana. We do know that there was some violence, there have been, been murders as well that has been reported, uh, where, where, and as well as people uh, having to go to protest as far as Lutulu House in Johannesburg, all of course unpleasant uh, with the ward candidates that have been selected uh, and the process in itself that has been followed. So. The ward that we are in currently, Ward 25, 77% went to the African National Congress back in uh, 2016. I'm sure they want to consolidate that number that they have and perhaps even woo, woo more voters to, to the fold. Only 56% of the people, uh, of about 16,000 people, only 56% actually only cast their vote in 2016. So that in itself gives you an indication that we've been talking about over the last three to four weeks or so. The African National Congress, it is really trying uh, to, to, to urge those who refrain from voting in 2016 to vote and this time vote in their favor. Whether or not they will be successful the 1st of November will uh, tell. Here in Sochanguve, we do know that uh, the, one of the largest, of course, uh, regions, uh, uh, sub-regions uh, going into uh, uh, the province in itself. So in order for you to lead uh, Twane as a whole, you need to get your numbers here in Sochanguve and Hamanskral and surrounding areas. Hamanskral already problems, uh, Bunga is there, our politics editor, giving you that side and the kind of challenges of service delivery in that area. The water has been a challenge. For many years, even during the ANC-led government, currently with the DA-led government, the minority government in that capital. So that in itself uh, uh, gives you a sense that all by all means, the ANC Deputy President, one of the big pillars within the African National Congress, should be coming here to try and woo voters in the, the favor of the African National Congress as we wait for him to arrive. Belani, you make mention of uh, where Smu is, uh, Smungalo is located now in Hamansquale, speaking to the pressing issues of water, which have been there and in existence since uh, 2005. In your interactions with the people of Sochanguve, what have been some of the major problems that have really affected their area and, uh, and their community? Extension T is one of, uh, or Block T rather, it's one of the oldest uh, blocks within the, uh, the Sushanguve area. So there's a lot of backyard dwelling and people here have been uh, requesting issues around the service stands and as well as housing to be provided uh, for them. And that is the contesting issue here that the Deputy President of the African National Congress and of the country will have to deal with as soon as he does arrive here. There will be a number of people waiting for him to engage with him in uh, the local park in the area and uh, critical to it. Yes, the issue around safety and security in the area, of course, uh, if, the, if, the, if there could be a beef up to the local police stations, we are told, those are some of the concerns, uh, but more uh, critically for them, the issue around housing, water and sanitation, well, uh, there is some provision. Remember, these are some of the areas which actually do pay their, 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 their taxes to the city of Tuana. So services does seem to be arriving, some sort of uh, waste removal is in the area, water uh, is here, but there's as well as uh, irregular billing that people are also complaining about and that in itself uh, I'm sure it is some of the things that the ANC would want to use in their favor because the DA is the one leading the wards current I mean leading the municipality
minority currently, so they want to use that in their favor to try and topple the minority government led by the Democratic Alliance here in the city of Tswane, the capital of South Africa. When is the deputy president expected to arrive? The preparation um, from the looks of what's happening behind you is well underway. The police have arrived. The security measures have been put in place. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We were told around half past ten the DP will be here and we're still waiting. And, uh, and as soon as perhaps as he arrives, uh, we'll be able to uh, get a role and uh, he, have, have him have the briefing first, of which will still take some time. He has to get a briefing from the, uh, the leaders in the area, give him a briefing of the problems in the area so that when he goes and does his door-to-door, -door, he's able uh, to talk to the issues at hand. But yes, you are correct. A number of uh, police uh, are stationed here, and as well, that is a, a lot of security, I, I can tell you, and as well as the African National Congress vehicles, branded vehicles, and uh, some of them are seemingly all the way from Mpumalanga, the origin of uh, where the uh, deputy uh, president is from. So that in itself gives you an example that he still has a little bit of that support from his province. So the vehicles branded ANT with Mpumalanga number plates are here in their numbers, loud music cloud on the back of those particular events, and uh, they are the ones that will be ushering him around to Shanghai today as he tries to work in uh, uh, the, the voters. And as well, perhaps even talk to the, to the, to the, uh, the area in itself, the, uh, the issue of the, 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 the disunity in the area. There's no unity whatsoever. And that, I would assume, will be a contested issue where people, the leadership in the area will be giving to him to try and manage as we go into local government elections. Very well, Bilani, let's uh, leave it there for now. Bilani Pahadi out in Soshanguve ahead of uh, ANC Deputy President David Mabuza's uh, uh, canvassing. He is expected to arrive there any moment from now. We'll take you live as soon as uh, he has set foot in that township. Now,